Welcome to Conversation with Africa's Next Generation. My name is Dr. John Sofwasia, and with me here today is Chebet Mutai to discuss the whole business of entrepreneurship, creativity, and the business of making a difference in Kenya, Africa, and the world. Please like, share, subscribe, and most of all, don't forget to hit that notification bell for me. Chebet, it's really good to have you here. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and thanks for inviting me onto your show. It is great to have you here. Yeah. I've been lo looking forward to today. So thank you for coming out. Well, thank you for having me. Really, Abs it's a pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah. So a good place to start, Chebet, is if you can tell the audience a little bit about yourself. I kind of know who you are, yeah. but I wonder if you can help our audience get to know who Chebet yeah. is. So. Okay. So I am an entrepreneur yes. and I use uh, my entrepreneurship as a tool to elevate and bring to the forefront conversations that are important to me. I use entrepreneurship to um, improve livelihoods. I use entrepreneurship to tell a story. So I like to think my, of myself as a little bit of a thinker. I'm human and I'm a creative. Uh, and those are the things that I would use to say who I am. Good. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Chibet, um, you have a pretty fascinating business. I'm fortunate to have been able to come to one of your stores. I still haven't gotten to your, uh, your factory yet, mm -hmm. but at least I know where your store is. And you have some of the most beautiful products. Um, I wish we had some pictures and videos to show. But the next time we have conversation, I definitely try to get some pictures and such. Uh -huh. Now, you were uh, an economics, you worked for the, uh, for the World Bank, and you left in 2012. What led you to leave such a cushy job, a really good job that mm -hmm. people would die for, uh, to go do this? Um, I think I was lucky to be in that space early on uh, because I was able to travel all over Sub-Saharan Africa and come to the conclusion for myself that the space that I wanted to be in was more action-oriented. I wanted to, you know, if I'm going to have the, 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 the statement that I'm working to reduce poverty, I needed to quantify my intervention so I decided uh, that the best thing for me was to start a business and create jobs because then I would see how my intervention and my effort would feed into the objective of reducing poverty. So for me, it was a personal um, mission and, and being lucky to come to that place of knowing exactly what I want to do and why I want to do it. Ali, I was 27 or 28, Ali, 28. Um, yeah, seems like such a long yeah, time ago. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, the reason was that I just wanted to see um, that my time and effort counted. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people mm -hmm. in this position where they work for the World Bank, and you were an economist with the World Bank? I studied economics. Um, and French language in, in university. Okay. So, I mean, it was a junior entry level position, position. With, yeah. with, 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 a, with a potential for a lot of growth. It was a fantastic job. I do yeah. miss the money. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe for a lot of people, but not for everyone. True, um, true. And I true. was lucky to just come to that conclusion then. Yes. Instead of yes. what I think would have been a waste of yes. my time. 
And I think this is the mistake that most people make. Um, mistake they, or choice? Well, not for you. I think you made the right decision to pursue what was on, in your heart, to follow your heart as it were. But yeah. so many people make the mistake of thinking this is a, a, cushy, a cushy job and the potential for advancement is great. And so they never really pursue what's on, you know, their, their true passion. You yeah. did that. Yeah, but, you know, you also have to be a bit empathetic to understand why uh, they choose uh, to do what they do one to entrepreneurship is not for everyone true so it would Very be true. Very true. <laughs> it would be foolish to just decide mm -hmm. to you know i don't know follow your dreams right. and maybe that is not really your path so um i think that um entrepreneurship is not for everyone I need people to work for me, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. if these people decide to be entrepreneurship tomorrow, to get into entrepreneurship and become entrepreneurs tomorrow, yeah. I'm out of luck, right? So I I understand that um, people make the decisions uh, and the choices and, uh, that they do because True. of the conviction that they have right. at that point. Right. Although, of course, it gets comfortable and then you're like, oh, my God, why would I leave this job? Yeah, yeah, of um, course, of course. And I think there's space for for that. Mm -hmm. It is, however, unfortunate that some of the most brilliant minds that could, you know, be put to incredible use in solving problems to think right. through solutions right. um, I are, in are some stuck kind of in job. some high tower building right seven to five and yes we are not enjoying the benefits of their brilliance I a understand. lot of people a lot of people i understand are not you out here tibet you just got me thinking because yeah. typically everybody says follow your heart go pursue your passion but it's as though you're saying that that's not necessarily a good idea. No, that that's, for some people don't have to do that. No, that's Why not what that? I'm. No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, explain, clarify, <laughs> because I think maybe I misheard or, yeah. Explain what that. I'm saying is that entrepreneurship is not for everyone. So okay. the fact that someone decides or chooses or stays in a in in the position that they are is not necessarily wrong. Okay. If that is uh, their path. A okay. And there are people who should just stay in employment because they're really good employees and I need them, <laughs> you know? Okay. So it's not, it's okay. not, I mean, your passion could mm -hmm. be service through accounting and bookkeeping. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the one of the most valuable skills that I need is a fantastic bookkeeper. Okay. Yeah. So I need... I may, I may have to submit an application to you. Are you a bookkeeper? Well, it's possible. <laughs> okay, good. good <laughs> all things are, oh all things are possible. Yeah, so <laughs> if it's to keep your books, Jabet, I will take the job. Yeah, so it yeah. is important for for people to pursue their dreams or, okay. I mean, pursue your purpose. Okay. I mean, I I also have dreams of being a unicorn. I should probably not pursue that. Okay. So um, it is important to pursue your purpose. Okay. Because then you're you know you're cemented in your why and yeah. and your focus is 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 there and clarity and all those good things that make life mm, precious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I think I agree with you there. Now, in my conversations with you, Chabet, yeah. I have come to see you as somebody that has really got these solid uh, values, you know, higher values that you live by. And every conversation I've had with you, I've come away thinking, she's got really good, solid values. What are your top three value system that support your work? and also your own life as a person, mm, what would those be? That's easy. Okay. Uh, human, being human and, and, and being fair, mm -hmm. transparent, mm -hmm. uh, consistent, and just being a decent human being, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's a key value for me, uh, mm -hmm. being creative, 
um, because I being creative allows me to to see things without the box mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and it allows me to be a good problem <coughs> solver. I think that's a key skill mm-hmm. based off one of my values is that I'm a good problem solver mm-hmm. because I'm creative. Mm-hmm. So creativity is important. Okay. Um, I value knowledge and education mm. because it gives me the platform to be a thinker, um, to think through problems uh, and, and to feed into my creativity, that my creativity is not fluffy and, mm-hmm. you know, unrealistic, but to really critically think through problems. So I value critical thinking yeah. and I even value even more people who are able to think mm. because the future uh, right. needs right. people who are thinking. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. So Africa needs that. that as well. We need that. I mean, after as... the global pandemic, it's yeah. not just Africa. The whole world needs people to think. Rational thinkers. Critical, Crea- thinking, creative as well as creative, critical Creative, rational. I yeah, mean, so absolutely. that you can make logical conclusions right. and, right, right. and yeah, uh, and yeah. So I I value thinking. That's good. And I spend a lot That's of time good. thinking. That's good.